Now, you already know that alcohols can be produced from alkenes by hydration. So a very simple hydration would be the reaction of uh, ethene. Um, and you use water in the presence of a catalyst, which is usually phosphoric acid. And what you get is ethanol. So that's hydration. Well, it's possible to reverse the reaction and produce an alkene from an alcohol. And this reaction is called dehydration, since you're removing an OH and an H, effectively removing water. This is one of a larger class of reactions known as eliminations. These are exactly the opposite of additions, where an addition breaks a double bond in order to add atoms to a molecule. An elimination removes atoms and allows a double bond to form. This reaction is catalyzed by uh, concentrated phosphoric acid. Um, and I invite you to consider the similarities between hydration and dehydration. One of the exercises in the tute that we'll do is to uh, infer some things about these two reactions. Uh, think more carefully about uh, what the similarities between them really mean. All right. Like some of the other reactions you've encountered, it's sometimes possible for this reaction to produce a mixture of isomers. For instance, consider the dehydration of butan-2-ol. So there's butanol and butan-2-ol, so the hydroxide group is on carbon number two. During dehydration, the alcohol must be removed, but there is a choice of hydrogens that could be removed. There's our catalyst, concentrated uh, phosphoric acid, and it would be possible for the hydrogen to come off either this carbon here, or off this carbon here. So it could come off carbon number one or it could come off carbon number three. If it comes off carbon number one, then the product will look like this because the double bond will form between carbons one and two. But if the hydrogen comes off carbon number three, then the product will look like this because the double bond will form between carbons two and three. So that's all for this video. We'll continue with a few more reactions of alcohols in the next video.